Hey team. So I had this really powerful conversation um, just last week with um, one of my mentors um, and a client and I just wanted to relay it because it's something that I certainly I've had this conversation myself before um, but it was just a really really good reminder about where's your focus. So we're talking through this idea of um, going out and understanding what customers are asking for and then going through a process of based on what we'd seen, deciding whether it was something that the customers wanted more of, value, um, something the customers wanted less of, a little failure, waste, and then how we respond to that. And John, thank you, um, <laughs> he's like, let's have a conversation about how we frame this sort of demand capture for transformation because all too often it can be really easy to fall into the trap of just fixing the stuff that you see. And that, you know, leaders get into that and they go, cool, we're fixing problems, but it's not into the transformative space. Good conversation to have, John. Um, thank you. <laughs> and so we sat down and we were going through some specific examples with this client. And uh, yeah, it was just, it, it was this moment of, where, where's your focus? So if you're focusing on all the stuff that's coming at you that you don't want to do more of, right? Like all that failure demand, all that waste, you're focusing on fixing all of that. Guilty as charged, super solution mode, always into that side of things. But if you're focused on that, then you're only ever going to get these, these little changes and these little improvements. And just because you're fixing the thing that's happening today doesn't mean that you're doing the right thing. So John was encouraging this client of mine to, um, to get into that space of focus on what's valuable. What is it that you know about what people are asking for, that they need and want? What's their heart's desire? Focus on that. Because the more that you focus on the value, the more that you're focusing on the transformation. And it's one of those funny things we've talked about, you know, elevating, elevating your level of consciousness to the point where those things that were happening at that lower level of consciousness, all those problems just kind of fade away. Um, but yeah, it was, it was this idea of if you focus on the value, focus on the right thing, then half of that stuff about doing things wrong is about doing the stuff that you're doing today. And if you actually start to focus on doing something different, all of that stuff falls away. Um, so I'll try and say it like six or seven different ways, but it was one of those moments of like the next layer of the onion for me on understanding again. I was like, ah, oh, that's right. Stop focusing on fixing stuff. Just just stop. Stop going into solution mode. Stop being a fixer. You know, everything in our world rewards us for being fixers and for fixing problems and for solving things. And, you know, leaders ask something of us and we're, boom, we've got a response for that. Get out of that space of solving. Get into that space of what my, my uh, yoga teacher and my colleagues who are in... Um, more that personal transformation side talk about of like sitting with the uncomfortability, which I love. Um, but get into that space of what's creating value for people. What do you, what do you know about that experience that they're looking for or that opportunity that what's their heart's desire? Get into that space, focus on that value. And then all of this other stuff just kind of fades away. Cause when we focus on the right thing, that's the change. That's the transformation. All of a sudden, we start to align ourselves around the right things to do rather than fixing what we've already got today. That's the difference between evolving versus transformation. Um, and it's not to say that understanding that, that waste and failure is, is a bad thing. Like That's absolutely useful for quantifying the size of the opportunity for um, ensuring that we're able to design out some of those things. But when you start to focus on how do we align ourselves around delivering value, that's when you get into all the really gnarly stuff around what's the thinking that's sitting behind this that means that we do that today, not this thing that we know is valuable. So that's the shift. Uh, so I guess calling out a little bit of a check for myself today on stop fixing things, start focusing on the stuff that's of value to your customers Ensure that you're lining yourself up behind that because if you, if and when you do, that's the path to transformation. That's the path to simplicity. Everything else starts to fall away because you've got this clear line of sight. You've got this alignment. 
Um, and you'll start to see all of the really big, meaningful changes in mindset shift and communication and policy and process. You start to see all of those changes that need to happen to enable you to do value rather than to simply do what you're doing today a little bit better. So that's it from me this week. Bit of a, yeah, bit of a reality check for myself. Um, poss- like quite probably preaching to the converted and everybody's just sat through this and gone, really, Danelle? Yeah, really. Sometimes it takes that repetition. Sometimes we need to kind of go through it again and again and just remind ourselves. So for those of you that needed to hear it today, you're welcome. Um, For those of you that didn't, awesome. You're smashing it. Love your work. Keep going. And uh, yeah, I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day. I will see you again next week.